you stop calling me, I stop expecting you. I text you, you don't text me back, I stop expecting it. I stop expecting it to control my frustration. I can't control your call, but I can control my frustration. And I refuse to give you that much power over me. So once you show me that I can't expect it, I can't be frustrated by that I don't expect. Success is like really hard. But everybody can do it. God created you to be successful. We have to make decisions along the way to get it. But you can do it. You just got to quit tripping. You want to live your life from now on with courage that most people take their talents, abilities, and skills to the grave with them because of the lack of courage. And courage is not the lack of fear. Courage is the willingness to do what it is you need to do in spite of the fear. We all have 24 hours. So if you have a bad day, which is no such thing of, it doesn't exist, you had a bad moment and you were so immature that you let that moment dictate the rest of your day. Right? And let me tell you something. You don't know how many days you have. Like, I'm just going to keep it 100. You don't know how many days you have left. You don't want to be wasting days. You can't be playing with the days you have on foolishness. So you, you have to learn how to control yourself. You need to get control of your life. You do not have control. The problem with success, the average person doesn't think is for them. That's the only thing that's stopping you from being really successful. The day you decide to become rich, the process starts immediately. If you never decide to be rich, there is no process that gets started. That's how it works, man. Rich people ain't that smart. I'm telling you, they just know some of the principles of success. You just got to learn them. It's hard, but it's for everybody. We're not going to overcome fear and live a powerful, victorious life if we're not disciplined in our thought life. That's where the main battle is taking place. Your mind is the bullseye of the enemy's target. If he can control your thoughts, he can control your whole life. If you don't guard your mind, it will default back to these thoughts of fear, worry, anxiety, negativity. You know why I wake up every morning excited about life? It's not because everything around me is going right. It's because I have a vision for tomorrow and the vision creates passion and ambition and drive. Focus on something you want to do that's important to you, not to anybody else. That's important to you. And every day you take action steps at the beginning of the year. Why? Because it's easy to be become a victim of weapons of mass distractions. To be distracted, you miss some steps. Listen to me. This is how I got here. So when you find yourself thinking negative thoughts because of the weapons of mass distractions, let's say cancel that. See, we, we can't control the thoughts that come in our minds, but we can control the thoughts that we dwell on. And some of you, you can show up when you're at home, when you go on the road, you struggle, meaning that when things are going the way you want, you cool, but when it rains, you, uh, you got to grow up. Uh, your body does not control you. When something negative happens in your life, you're giving it mad energy. When something good happens, you acting like it's supposed to happen. That's why your life messed up, because you focus on the stuff that's wrong. You're not putting the same energy on what's right. It's when I'm disappointed, it's when I'm defeated, it's when I find myself deep down in the dirt with my expectations not being met that I can actually lift my head up and I can start to look around the surroundings and discover where the mistakes took place. I can discover where are the gaps. I can discover how on earth can I get better? How can I grow? Don't complain about it. Choose to learn from it. Like listen to me, like you gotta stop playing. So most of you, what happens is, when everything is favorable, you a beast. Make sure you understand what I'm saying. When everything is favorable, meaning like whatever conditions you like, when those conditions are right, you a beast. But when the conditions ain't right, you get smacked in the face. You gotta grow up. You gotta make, you gotta make every, you gotta make, you gotta be a morning person, afternoon person, night person. You gotta be at home person, on the road person. You gotta be when you when you when you feel good person, when you sick person, when you tired person. 
I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. It's not strolling time. It's not walking time. It's not sightseeing time. It's running time. You got to run after your destiny. You can't stroll after your destiny. You can't walk after your destiny. You got to run. That's the way the body is designed. You talk negative and your body does negative. You talk negative, you get diseases. You talk negative, mentally certain things happen. I'm not stupid. I know how to talk negative. I was homeless too. My father wasn't in my life too. I've been in struggles too. But I've come to realize that when you think optimistically and you speak positively, you can speak those things which are not as though they were. You can say certain things out your mouth and make it happen. It was no secret. You are where you are because you focus on stuff you ain't got no business focusing on. You can't control that. Because success is never an accident. And if you don't want it, get out of my way. Because there are some people who want to do something with their life who will run. I'm going to go for it. Come hell or high water, I'm going after my destiny. You have got to make a declaration and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will. That This is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it and you're going to go all out to have it. I'm going to turn this situation around. I'm not going to sit back and, and moan and cry over what happened and what went wrong and who did what. I'm going to do something about this situation. Keep going. Like, keep going. Don't quit. You're already in pain. You're already struggling. Like, get something for your pain. It doesn't make sense to go through pain and then not get none on the other side of it. So since you're already struggling, you're already going through it, get on the other side. You're going to catch the greats. You got to get up at three. You got to go to bed early. Don't lie to yourself. You, you are powerful, but you have some vices. The only way you're going to be successful is you got to discipline yourself. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you're in the process. Sometimes your life will be in a slump. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy. Work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Don't give up. Don't give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. You've given it your best shot. You've had enough. You can you can stand down. You can back off. You can take a knee. You can rest now. Do not listen to that instinct. Do not listen. That instinct is a liar and wants to bring you down. It wants to give you an out place to run to, a little place of sympathy. And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back to smash into the ground. Do not take the easy way out. Do not give up based on instinct. Get up. Go. Fight on. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. You, can, you have the power to make that decision. You can decide, I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. 
And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. I'm in charge here. Some of you have been convinced you're in a losing season right now because you feel very discombobulated on the inside. You're not so certain about certain things that are going on in your life right now. It is not a loss. In fact, it is a new level. You can endure almost anyhow. So find out the reasons that you do what you do. Find out the reasons that will make you strong, that will make you walk by faith and not by sight, that will make you pursue your dream when everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more.